Hello YouTube, some say I should talk a little bit in my videos, so there you have it. Today I want to make some sign bars. I've already cut a few, but they're not as precise as I want them to be. So to do a few more, I first need some blanks. As a raw material for the sign bars, I use this high speed steel bar. On the first step I cut some grooves in it and uh, then cut it off from the blank or from the bar. So uh, let's go. So probing the two edges of the blank to get my zero point for the program. Some of you might have noticed that I clamped the high speed seal bar in a different way now. The problem with the high speed seal bars is that the flats aren't square to each other. And uh, if I clamp the bar in the vise, the part gets a little bit uh, tilted. And that's a problem with my fixture. I get uh, steps between the first and uh, the second setup. setup. I have touched both uh, edges of the blank and uh, set my zero point for the program. Now I can uh, start cutting the grooves. So I've started to cut the new blanks. Uh, I do a roughing cut on the groove and then a finishing cut on the groove. The grooves are done with a roughing pass and a finishing pass. Uh, next step is to cut off the blanks from the bar. <laughs> The blanks are cut off from the bar. Next step is to cut the outer shape of the sign bar. For the second setup I've made a little fixture. I've just aligned it to the Y axis and now I touch the groove on uh, every side of the fixture and if I get uh, almost zero on uh, both sides, the fixture is aligned good enough.
a few microns from uh, side to side difference. Uh, I will call this okay. Uh, now I can touch my uh, start point for the program. The start point of the CNC code is uh, one millimeter away from uh, each edge of this corner. Uh, everything is set, now we can start cutting. So uh, almost three hours later and we're done. Uh, two cuts, roughing pass and the finishing pass. Uh, 